Hello, Jared. This is Nico from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy. So you messaged me on Facebook regarding this pre-owned 2018 Keystone 332BH that we have available. Um, I know that you're shopping a uh, Jayco, but I wanted to make this video for you to tell you more about the Keystone Laredo and what this one in particular does offer uh, before we get into the numbers. So this RV is in great shape. They actually purchased it from us and traded in for a Cardinal fifth wheel. Great thing about this RV is that it does have an electric tongue jack. Uh, that way you don't have to hand crank when you hook and unhook. Uh, it'll save your arm from doing all that work. Um, you just have this jack here. It makes it nice and easy. Also, you do have two large propane tanks. Uh, so that way you have plenty of propane for a weekend getaway for the stove and oven, uh, gas and electric water heater, and the propane as well if you go into colder temperatures. Great thing about the Laredo on the front is that it does have LED lights in the cap here that will help you when you hook and unhook in all lighting conditions. Also, another important thing about the cap is that the sidewall, excuse me, the cap does wrap around the sidewall um, about the width of my hand. So with some other brands that have a seam right here, if you're going down the road at 70 miles an hour and it's raining outside and you have a 10 mile an hour headwind, that rain's just beating on your cap right here. So with this design, it has a less likelihood of leaking because you do have the protection of the uh, sidewall, or excuse me, the cap wrapping around the sidewall. The great thing about the storage doors on the Laredo is that they are very thick. The reason for that is that they are CNC machined out of the actual sidewall material. So it, get, it has a perfect fit. It's not an aftermarket door um, that doesn't fit in perfectly. So that's part of the reason why their insulation is so great. And then also on the doors, they do use magnets, not clips. So it's really easy to open it one-handed. Um, and then also on those clips, they always <clears throat> tend to become brittle and break over time. Or if you forget they're there, you know, you pull the door and you accidentally yank it out. Uh, but with these Laredos, you don't have to worry about it because they do have magnets. And then also speaking of uh, this storage door, as you see, it is pass-through storage, tons of storage here. And then also, as you can see, it does have aluminum framing. So the important thing about the Laredos is that everything is framed out with aluminum. All the storage doors, all the entrances, all the windows. Uh, so it's very strong versus uh, wood. And also it's a bit lighter for what it offers. Although the Laredos are heavier, but that's because of their build quality. And then also this storage door is a slam baggage door. So it's a fifth wheel style feature. Great thing about this RV is that it does have two electric awnings. One of them is up front here and the other is on this slide. They both have LED lights. So if you're outside and you want to have a little illumination, these white LED lights will do a really great job of giving you um, lighting on the outside whenever you're camping. The great thing about the door on the Laredo is that it is a friction hinge door. So it's not one of the old storm door, uh, storm door types. This doesn't have the plastic piece here or on the wall. And same thing as the clips on the doors, those will become brittle over time and break, or somebody might forget they're there and accidentally rip it out. So if you have some wind uh, coming in, it'll just easily open the door to where it doesn't slam. And also, it does have a screen door here, so if you want to get good cross ventilation going, let's say you're at Niagara Falls in the fall, um, you can have this, have this open, have a window open, all the windows opened, and uh, you get good cross ventilation if you're dry camping. Uh, if you don't have access to power and it does have a patented door opening system here so you can easily open and close the door without letting any bugs in also it does have an extra large door handle so you know some rvs out there they have a tiny little plastic door handle but with this one it's huge people of all ages can easily get in and out of this rv and then also this one has three steps and they are aluminum uh, so these are more resistant to rust they're going to hold up a lot better and they're very light and easy to open and close and also, speaking of the uh, windows on the RV, the great thing about them is that the slides uh, do have windows as well um, that do open, so you get even better cross ventilation going. Also, as you can see, these windows are really tinted, so it offers you more privacy and also more energy efficiency. Uh, that way your AC doesn't have to work as hard to cool down in the hot Texas heat or wherever you end up in your RV. Uh, great thing about this RV, it does have a huge outdoor kitchen. Uh, in my opinion, the Laredos do it best with the grill and chill package. You have a TV out here. You have a separate radio. So if you're outside grilling it up, you can listen to whatever you want inside without having to uh, listen to the same programming as everybody uh, that's inside. And also you have a large refrigerator here for all your beverages outside. So you don't have to uh, go in and out to get a drink or, you know, whatever you need. 
and also does have a dedicated microwave that is residential power so if you want to microwave something outside it's going to heat up a lot faster versus other microwaves that aren't as powerful a uh, great thing is it does have a two burner cooktop here and just to show you uh, how well the customer previous customer took care of this RV uh, they even included the original styrofoam here and instruction manual uh, so that this outdoor kitchen's hardly even been used at all. Um, in fact, I even had to program this TV so it catch the uh, channels because they hadn't even set it up yet. So um, they took really good care of it and uh, they did buy it from us and trade it back in. So that's always a nice thing. And also you have uh, grounded electrical connections here. And there is also uh, one connection here that the fridge already takes a part of and also one right here but can never have too much power. And then this is the exhaust for your furnace. Uh, so let's say that, you know, it's cold outside and you still want to use your outdoor kitchen. You can still get a little bit of heat from the exhaust of the outdoor kitchen. Um, and then another great thing, it does have LED light here as well, as you can see. And you do have the uh, speakers there. Uh, one's above the fridge for the outside uh, radio. And there's also a bit of storage here. As you see, they included um, all the original remotes and uh, owner's manuals and everything like that. So that's always a nice thing to see. And coming around the back, great thing about the Laredos is that it does have a built-in ladder. So whenever it comes time to inspect your RV, uh, inspect the roof as you should. You don't have to grab a separate ladder. This one's already built in, makes it nice and easy. Also the docking station makes it really convenient for all your ins and outs on this RV. Um, black tank flush everything like that can conveniently located at one location and the spare tire is also conveniently located on the back uh, this RV is uh, 50 amp service so um, this is the plug for 50 amp and it is also prepped for a backup camera as well so if you would like to add one it's really easy um, all you have to do is just hook this up here and it'll wirelessly connect to your uh, to your vehicle and uh, we can also install one for you if you would like So here we are coming around the RV. And this is the six gallon gas and electric water heater here that I discussed. It is rapid heat and it is prepped for solar panels. If you want to go dry camping, you can keep your battery charged and keep your lights on. Uh, great thing about this RV, it does have auto level. So I know you're looking at a Jayco, but you know, all RVs are equipped differently. So this one with the auto level, these jacks are rated for 20,000 pounds, which is double the gross vehicle weight of this RV. Um, and it makes it really easy, you know, if you set up an RV before, having to level it out, this will save you a lot of time and cursing. You know, just press a, a button, enjoy a drink, and sit back and watch. Um, here we are on the other side of the pass-through storage. So here's the auto level, the actual box there. And the important thing is that it does have hitch memory as well. So whenever you go back to reconnect your vehicle, the hitch will go back to where it was originally. Uh, it does have a battery disconnect as well. So if you decide to store your RV for a long period of time, all you have to do is flip that switch to save your battery instead of having to uh, disconnect the terminals manually. All right, so we'll go ahead and head inside this 332BH. And I have to say, this is really one of my favorite floor plans. Uh, whether new or pre-owned and the reason for that is that uh, I guess depending on on your usage I guess you know we just chatted briefly on Facebook but um, you know the important thing is that I know a lot of people if they ever use their RV for work they always want to get a bunkhouse so that way whenever the family uh, goes to enjoy it with them um, they have room for everybody to stay but the thing about bunkhouses is there's usually a lot of compromise so I feel like they really did a great job of making this uh, the living room area more comfortable you know let's just say that um, you know you are traveling by yourself for work perhaps or even if you know the family just wants to relax the great thing about this one is that you have the full bunk room in the back and then you also have two recliners and these recliners are super comfortable they give you an optimal viewing angle of the TV and also the TV will adjust uh, you can tilt it uh, to different angles you know whether you're at the dinette or whether you're sitting there in the recliners right in front of the TV uh, you can make it work for you and then also the radio is an all-in-one AM FM CD DVD Bluetooth even has auxiliary input headphone output and USB input so you can play nearly anything through it um, there are other speakers on the outside so you can play music just inside or just outside or both so it is versatile you have storage here for movies, games, whatever you need. Uh, this is the electric fireplace. 
and right now it's just on a light show function since it's like 90 degrees outside right now. Um, so you can have the heat and the lights going or um, have just the lights going and you can also change the lights, uh, things like that. So if you are in colder temperatures and you don't want to use propane, you can use the electric fireplace here to keep warm. And also uh, on the inside you have another microwave here. It is the same residential power microwave as outside. So heating up food is no problem. Um, also, the great thing about the Laredo is they have a range hood that actually works. So if you want to cook inside, and uh, let's say you're making bacon and eggs for breakfast, and you don't necessarily want your RV to smell like that all day long, you can press this and it will then outside. It's not just there for looks, it actually works. And the great thing about this RV, it has a three burner cooktop. The rear two burners are for simmering. The front is for boiling. Uh, so it's more efficient versus the old four burner styles because those four burners you need specialty pots and pans. But with this one, um, any regular uh, uh, pots and pans will work. You don't need anything special. And they also do have igniters for the stove top. That way you don't have to light it manually. Um, here's the oven. It's a good size oven for an RV. Also a great thing about the kitchen, uh, the Laredos have solid surface countertops. So a lot of other brands kind of skimp on that and use cheaper components. But with these, it's not going to capture bacteria because it's non-porous and it's a lot easier to clean. Also, you have a good amount of storage here. And the cabinetry on the Laredos is uh, one of the top of the line because it's real wood. And, you know, honestly, these cabinets are even nicer than uh, the ones that are in my house. So these are... Um, real wood they're more resistant to humidity versus the other types that are out there that are made of like the cheaper uh, plastic type so this will hold up for a really long time and you know another thing about this Laredo man the refrigerators you got not one but two eight cubic foot gas and electric uh, refrigerators so no matter where you go as long as you have propane or if you have main power you have fridge space and uh, you know some people kind of say well you know I don't necessarily need two refrigerators depending on how you're using the RV, you know, having 16 cubic foot uh, of fridge space is really unheard of. And um, as you can see here, the fridges and the freezer, it's in really great shape. I mean, it really still looks like brand new, uh, super clean, even still smells good. And uh, the important thing about this, you know, some RVs have residential refrigerators, but they're really not made to be... Uh, towed around and jumbled around and things like that as you're going down the road. So the gas and electrics are a tried and true design uh, because they are really made uh, for the uh, rigorous travels that RVs go through. So even if you don't need, you know, both of them for, uh, for storing cold food, you can use one for dry food as well. So that's really great. So here we are on the island. The island is also a solid surface as well. Uh, so it's not going to capture bacteria, it gives you extra counter space. And then really smart thing the Laredo's do, you know, one thing about having an RV is where do you put the trash can? Well, with this one, it's out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. And, um, you know, you'd never really uh, even tell it was there. And then you have extra storage here. I'll look at that, the original manuals and uh, remotes. Really nice to see it came with it. More storage under here. And it does have a residential style uh, faucet here. It makes it easier to wash dishes. And this one's a stainless steel sink, so the good thing about that, uh, it's not going to capture bacteria, it's not going to stain, and it will hold up a lot longer versus the uh, cheaper plastic ones that are out there. And then another great thing about this floor plan, it does have a uh, bar area, whether it be coffee or uh, a regular bar. You have tons of space here, uh, overhead storage for bottles or uh, coffee beans, you know, whatever, whatever you like. And uh, you have plenty of room here for a blender uh, or a coffee maker with power. And you have storage underneath here as well. Um, one great thing about the RVs on the Laredos is that they have radius ceilings. So as you see, it's not flat, it's curved. So it makes it feel a lot bigger in here. Um, even though this unit is on the larger side, um, you know, whenever you're in an RV, every square foot counts. So that's really great. And the dinette, it does turn into a bed. Uh, so you can really bring the whole family. Everybody can sleep comfortably. Uh, four people could sit here, enjoy a meal, or play a card game, Monopoly, whatever you're into. And then it's also functional because there is storage underneath here. And the great thing about the st uh, storage on the dinette is that it's on rollers. It's not like some other uh, cheaper brands where you have to really lift and pull and tug. On this one, uh, it's really easy. And also you have the dual recliners that are very comfortable right in front of the TV as we discussed before. And also you have a ton of windows, so if you ever want to cross-ventilate, you have a window in the slide on that side, your standard windows there, 
and also a window in this slide, uh, on this side of the slide as well. So tons of cross ventilation. Great thing about the uh, blinds on this RV, it's the accordion style. It's not the old style, we have to fumble with it um, and mess with it a lot. So it really makes it easy. And um, let's see here. Also you have a big coat rack there with a pegboard. If you want to hang keys or you know hang notes, stuff like that, it's really easy right by the door, out of the way. And here's the master bedroom. Uh, the great thing about the Laredos, they have true queen beds, 60 by 80. So if you ever want to swap the mattress, um, any mattress will fit perfect, a standard queen, and your bedding as well. So, um, you know, some RVs come with very uncomfortable beds, but if you ever want to swap one for whichever preference you have, it's really easy um, because everything fits perfect. And here you have overhead storage. You have a ward here, clothes, hanging clothes. And also a nightstand on this side, nightstand on this side. And this one does include two AC, so uh, this is the other one. And it is prepped for a TV as well if you want to hang one over there. And you do have a privacy door. And speaking of the ACs, the important thing about the Laredos is that they use Coleman ACs. So there's some brands out there that use um, the other brand. And, you know, honestly, our service department says that uh, Coleman's are top of line for longevity. And also any warranty claims are really easy to work with versus others. And now here we are in the bathroom. Uh, the great thing about the bathroom in this RV is that um, even though it is a bunkhouse, you have a really good size. And also it's a, a shower, not a tub. So um, let me show you here. I'm about six feet tall and I still have uh, plenty of room in here with the skylight. So, um, you know, most bunks are going to have a shower, but this one, or excuse me, a, a tub versus a shower. So that's the great thing about this one. And uh, you do have a medicine cabinet to uh, store everything that you need right here. And you have grounded electrical connections for a trimmer, whatever you need. And then also the uh, really important thing is that on the Laredos, they use porcelain toilets, not plastic. So that just shows you their build quality. Uh, this is the main control panel here for all your lights, your slides, your awnings, everything like that. And this is uh, for one of the thermostat controls on the Coleman AC. So now we'll go ahead and go to the bunk area. So here you are in the bunk room. You have a uh, single bunk here that will fold right out of the way. And it does have an hydraulic assist as well. So I know a lot of bunks are kind of hard to move, but this one really opens itself up whenever you move it. So you have this couch here that will, um, you know, you can sleep somebody on as well. So that's really nice. It's got cup holders in the uh, couch there. And also you have a window here and also a window up here. So if you want to get cross ventilation going, you can. Um, and this RV is ducted. That's that's really important. Um, the unique thing about the Laredos is that they work on a racetrack AC system. So uh, both of the RV, or excuse me, both of, both of the ACs feed each other, and they minimize hot spots with the design. So that's pretty unique to Laredos. And then you also have uh, this single bunk here as well to sleep somebody else. And you have room for a TV, uh, room to store clothes, and a ladder as well. So that's nice. All right, again, this is Nico from Cliff Jones RV. Uh, I want to make this video for you to tell you more about this pre-owned uh, 2018 Keystone Laredo 332BH. Uh, please give me a call whenever you watch this so we can go over the numbers, 979-253-2611. Thank you so much for watching.